Excellent. A big welcome to day 22 of the Amazon 10K Challenge, where we take a product together from $0 all the way up to $10,000 every single month paid to you by Amazon. If you haven't seen the first 21 days yet, we're going to be talking about stuff specifically that I've talked about yesterday. We went over a lot of theory. We're going to be uh, talking more about that and putting that into action in today. So definitely go back and watch the first 21 days. Get caught up to date. Uh, you can see we found a product together. We improved the product, found the supplier, created the listing, which you can see here behind us. And now we are in the phase of launching this product. You can see we actually got a review here. I'll be discussing that review in uh, this video because it's actually a very interesting story behind that review. And I want to tell you my thoughts on it and how you can start getting reviews early for your product. Before we jump too much into this uh, video, I have so much to teach in this video. I want to make sure you're a part of our Facebook group. A lot of people are joining this Facebook group. We have 830 members now. We're all helping each other out. We're all making sure each other grow and learn about Amazon. We can help you as well, and we'd love for you to join. So definitely use the link in the description to join this Facebook group. We're going to be doing some giveaways in here soon. Uh, as soon as we get to 1,000 members, we'll give away 10 coaching calls. So definitely jump in that group to be eligible to win that. If you haven't seen our FBA masterclass, it is a 12 hour masterclass with everything that I know about Amazon inside this class. It's 12, it's 10 modules, everything from finding your product, turning it to a superior idea, everything that we've brushed over in this series so far, we do a deep dive in this course. So even, um, if we go to module six, which is launching our product, there's no way we'll be able to talk about all this and all these strategies inside this uh, YouTube series. If you want to get the deep dive and you want to be sure with every step that you take in launching your product, definitely use the link in the description to grab a copy of the Amazon FBA Masterclass 2018. You get access to our private resource vault, which is all templates and um, calculators and everything you need in order to launch a successful product on Amazon. So make sure you check that out in the link uh, in the description below this video. This video is gonna be fun. We're gonna be talking about that review that we got. We're gonna be talking about the extra sales and how we're starting to rank uh, higher on the Amazon search algorithm. So let's jump straight into today's video. Don't miss out on this. We are giving away an Amazon product idea that I personally found that will make you over $5,000 every month $1,000 of PayPal cash to buy your stock, and a fast-track Amazon FBA coaching session to ensure that you launch your product perfectly. To win, all you need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment below why you want to start an Amazon FBA business. Enter now, then let's jump into this video. Okay, so this is our fun little scratch map snowball tracking sheet uh, where we are doing a snowball launch. If you're not up to date and you haven't seen this the sheet's not making sense to you, go back and watch yesterday's video where I walk through exactly what we're doing in here and why we're doing it. And then meet me back here and we'll get, I'll be able to give you these updates. Basically, we're trying to create as much momentum as possible to increase or decrease, so lower, uh, closer to one is better. Our best seller rank on Amazon, which is where Amazon use to uh, compare every single item on its website. They give it a rank against each other within a certain category. We wanna get to that top 10,000 or top 1,000 products for our category, which is home and office, I think, or office supplies. These are our keywords that we're trying to rank for. Again, watch the video if you don't know what these keywords are. And these are the pages that we are showing up on those keywords for. So the 21st page in the middle, 20th page uh, at the top, and the 16th page in the middle for these keywords. Scratch map, scratch off map of the world, and large scratch off map. This is our listing here. Uh, as you can see that we do have one review here, and I will touch on that. But if we come down to Keeper, you can see that I tracked our rank uh, mid change today because you can see I got 59,000 when I looked at it, uh, which means it was about up here. And it's since dropped because we have a couple of extra sales. But again, similar to yesterday, just look at the relationship between the sales and the bestseller rank. Um, and then look at the relationship between the bestseller rank and the pay, uh, the the search engine results because you can see here even though we didn't get a sale for about 12 hours um, as I slept overnight uh, that means our listing dropped because our bestseller rank is updated frequently we went from 30,000 down to 60,000 but what we did do is we still increased our SEO score because we were coming up instead of the 21st page for scratch off map of the world which is our number one keyword we we're coming up on the 15th page 
And you may ask why. There's two factors that determine this. One is it's a little bit late in updating uh, search engine rank. Like I said yesterday, the bestseller rank updates much quicker than the search engine rank. So these, this jump right here is most likely based on these earlier two sales still um, being added up by Amazon and calculated into the algorithm. And you can see we've made some really big jumps even with only three sales. Three sales we went to unranked to the 15th page, which 15th page is still a long way back. We wanna to get to that first page. But um, there's only three sales and we jumped six pages. So that's super impressive. The other reason we're jumping pages is because of the ads that we've set up together. And again, watch the last two days to set up those ads for your listing and see exactly how I did it. But Amazon are using the data that it's pulling for those ads to also move our listing up the search engine results. So at the moment, you can see our listing has jumped back up to 23,071. So I'm just gonna throw that in here. Uh, I think that's what it is. We should actually check the, what it is live, 27,967. 27,967. And I'm not gonna go through and find it on the pages uh, with you right now, but I will do that um, off air and I'll re-update you. You can also look on your end. Uh, you can search for these keywords, scratch map, scratch off map of the world, large scratch off map, and go through and actually see where I'm coming up. Um, and you can maybe even see my ad. Uh, don't click on the ad though, because that will that'll ruin our data. <laughs> but basically, uh, this customer review I wanted, I wanted to talk about a little bit because over the next couple of days, we're going to be talking about review kick in phase six, but I wanted to touch on it because we did get a review today and it's from a person called uh, Muhammad and he says best scratch map ever. Now, this listing's only been alive for two days and it's with a two day shipping. And I can see in the back end that no one called Muhammad has purchased this item. And it's also not a verified review, meaning he, this account has not purchased the item. I'll show you what a verified review looks like. So this is recent browsing history. I come down to this person's reviews. You can see it says verified purchase here, which means Amazon is verifying that this account has purchased this item. We don't have a verified purchase right here, uh, which means he did not actually buy the map. Now I have no affiliation with Muhammad and I have a sneaking suspicion that Muhammad watches this YouTube series, went and left a review on the map, which I appreciate the sentiment, the sentiment, but uh, I don't recommend that you do this with your own products and I don't recommend that anyone else does this for the map, please. Um, because we will be getting the reviews in an organic way and we don't want Amazon to think that we're trying to game the system at all. So this review will probably help me because now when you come up on, um, when I come up on search results, you can see it does have, so you can see this is the ad and then this is not the ad. It does have one review down here, so it is super helpful um, and it will help our conversion and get us some more sales initially, but I don't recommend that you do it or I don't recommend that you have a friend do it uh, because you don't want to get on Amazon's bad side and Amazon definitely know what's going on. Um, but again, we're going to be talking more about reviews in the upcoming videos. Uh, when we talk about review kick, I don't really tend to worry about reviews that much. Lots of people are really worried, but I have some really, really, um, amazing strategies for you to get tons of reviews, including the golden request, which I can't, and I won't be talking about here. Uh, cause it is super, super powerful and not too many people know about it, but it is available in the masterclass. If you want to know what the golden request is, it will double or triple the amount of five star reviews you get for your product. It's super powerful. And we have templates and everything for that in the masterclass. So if you remember there, definitely go check out that module. Uh, that it's a lecture actually, not a module. Anyway, back to this map here. What I wanted to touch on is these five sales. So you can see Again, I'm recording this late in Melbourne. I'm in Melbourne, Australia right now. I'm actually move, uh, not moving, visiting Mexico for a surf trip with my friends in two days. So I will probably record a video ahead of time because I have like a 26 hour flight to get over there. Um, so you'll probably see me record two videos tomorrow night and I'll put one out on a schedule for that next night. So when I'm on a plane, you still have a helpful video coming out. And then I'll be recording the rest of them from Mexico. Uh, so I'll be updating you from how it's going over there. But basically, it's uh, late at night here in Melbourne, which means it's early in the morning in Seattle, which is where they use, uh, here you go, Pacific Standard Time. Um, so it's 3.32 a.m. So 
we don't have any sales in the last three hours, but yesterday for them or today for me, we did get two extra sales, which brought our total up to $120. And the cool thing that I saw that I thought you'd be excited about is we go to our campaign manager. And what you will see is that we got a sale from our initial automatic ad. And again, watch yesterday's video if you didn't see us set this up because it's a really, really crucial part of um, launching on Amazon is setting up an automatic ad through Amazon. What we'd got is a sale, uh, which was $23.89, obviously one of the earlier sales we got. And uh, it says right here it costs us $11.12, but it's not actually true because um, I looked at this earlier today and it said it cost us $5. And what happens is the sales take 48 hours to update, which is why it didn't come in initially, but it has come in now. Uh, so it took about $5 to get this sale. I don't know if the two sales today has come in through this ad or not. We'll see in 48 hours. But basically, you can see that we've spent, uh, or we spent $5 in order to get a $24 sale, which is pretty incredible, especially because Amazon's doing all the work for us. We didn't even uh, tell them what keywords to use. They're using our listing, they're scraping our listing and putting it out there. We are climbing search engine results and we're getting sales at a profit. So definitely go and set up your automatic campaign for your own product. Our heavy blaster campaign is a manual one. Didn't have too much of a spend today. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move in here and up this bid. So we're gonna up the default bid to $1.50 just so we can get some data. And then I'm going to come in here and have a look at the keyword bids. I'm gonna apply that. Plus I'm gonna add probably 10 cents to it because I just wanna get some data to show you. You can see where it's spending, um, which keywords it's spending to, to. So people have clicked on it. They searched large scratch off world map and then clicked on our listing that, which showed up and that cost us 67 cents. And you can see that our bid was a dollar something. I don't know, I don't know if I just changed that or not. But um, a bid's a dollar something and it's still only bidding a lot less. So all these numbers aren't exact, but they're a maximum. Your daily budget's a maximum and your bids are a maximum. So I'm gonna pull in a little bit higher bids, especially for the ones that got clicked on, just so we can start to get some um, data to work through together. Might move this one up too, because that's a pretty big keyword. $1.20. Cool, and we're just gonna leave that now. We're gonna check in on that tomorrow, see how it's going, see how the spend's going. You can see, once again, we haven't spent much total. Uh, advertising campaign manager. Yeah, we've spent to about $12 total. If it says we've got one sale, I have a feeling we've got at least two or three sales from that because we have got five sales, and I don't think too many are coming organically. Now, we are day three of our launch, but it's been a much slower launch than I would have anticipated and that I normally do, mostly because of this thing right here that I showed you yesterday. We need someone to leave us a feedback rating of four or five stars, which from these five products, I'm sure one of them will, especially because I'm gonna be messaging them privately and asking for them to leave feedback because uh, we need this in order to start really advertising our product and getting that snowball moving. And uh, that's, a, again, a great strategy to getting reviews is customer feedback and being in touch with your buyers. But again, I'll be going through all that in the review kick stage. So stay tuned for that. I'll make it really, really easy for you to get 100 reviews uh, for your product. But what I am trying to say is I sort of we sort of need a little bit more time to launch this product because we need to create coupons. Now, there's a lot of different strategies we're using for these coupons. We have two pieces of software we're going to be using, which are all very ethical uh, Amazon approved softwares that's going to help uh, get those coupons out into the world and have people buy our product and get some momentum. We're also we're going to be doing some social media ads, so Facebook ads, Instagram ads. We're going to do organic Facebook and organic uh, Instagram in order to get people to buy our product but what we need is a coupon so for example once we create our Instagram account and we get someone to shout out our account or we put a post on Instagram advertising our scratch off map that's not ours our scratch off map here I don't really it's it's much more effective if we have a coupon so if it was for example hey check out this map normally $23 use this coupon and get it for $15 
a lot more people are going to take action and buy the product. So I don't want to be advertising our product at full price just because it really, really hurts our conversion rate. And right now we're looking for momentum in our product. So we're going to be putting out some coupons as soon as we get that review in. And again, if you're in my situation and have a brand new Amazon account, or well, the best way to get that that uh, customer feedback up past 3.5 is going to be your early buyers. We're going to have to email them personally, and I can even show you how to do that. Um, they wouldn't have received it yet because they bought today and yesterday. So um, I'll wait probably two days before I message him, reach out, make sure that item was delivered, and then ask him to leave a review. Uh, and then we'll be able to start really hammering this marketing in. I'll show you all the strategies. We'll get that snowball moving, which will be awesome. I wanted to show you this thing I saw today, and hopefully I can find it again. Let's go all department scratch map. Because while we're talking about coupons, Amazon have since uh, introduced a new coupon. Um, here we go, little badge right here. So you can save $2 on this with the coupon. And I click on it, and you don't even really need to do anything. You just need to like sort of clip the coupon or check the coupon, and that'll save you $2 when you go to buy that coupon uh, when you go to buy that product so let's just see if I keep going okay so I guess I didn't need to sign in and everything so I'll leave it but basically you can save save two dollars by clicking that which I think is gonna increase our conversion and it's also gonna increase the amount of people who click on our item because it's sort of like a bestseller badge this little orange thing up here if you scroll down and you see this little orange thing it catches your attention especially under our colored map with our nice bright colors. I'd love to get a little orange badge there because we will be a bestseller in our category. But right now we're not, and I'd still like to get that orange eye-catching thing there so people can look at it and then click on our item. So I'm gonna show you how to do that once I can do that, once we can create coupons. Uh, but right now we're still getting consistent sales from our ads. We're getting a couple of organic sales. Uh, we got one review from a, a friendly listener of this, a friendly watcher of this YouTube series. But again, I don't recommend doing that. And please don't uh, anyone else leave some reviews because that may flag Amazon may flag my account. We're at rank twenty seven thousand. We want to get this rank under ten thousand. I think we can get up under a thousand. Um, I talked to a friend today actually, whose friend is in the. Uh, scratch off map business. I'm trying to find out what his brand name is, but apparently he does very well off it uh, Which gets me excited because I think we can turn this into a full turn a full-time business and a brand that sells Five or six different products. We can turn this into a million dollar brand together fully transparently. So I'm excited for that Make sure you've joined our Facebook group make sure you have joined the masterclass in order to have that confidence and conviction around the actions you're taking in launching your product you're just one product away from financial freedom. One product that can make you $10,000 a month. That's all it takes. I'm doing it for you live here so you can copy along. Once you get that, you, you're, you're home free. You can quit your job. You can drop out of school. You can have time to travel. Freedom to do whatever you want. So just keep taking action and keep commenting below, get it, meeting people in the group and making big steps in 2018 toward your goal. So I'm honored to have you here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.